All right, here we go. Go ahead and hold that up. What's up, guys? It's Weston Smith. Welcome back today. We are going to be fishing head-to-head -head big swim baits versus small swim baits. Let's get into it. y'all so i'm out here with ryan ridge you guys have seen him on the channel before you know him all too well his information is down in the description uh i'm gonna be throwing the big old battle shad today guys seven and a half inch soft plastic swim bait cruising it with an underspin it is fall after all so the swim baits have been hitting ryan rigged is going with one of our favorites from carl's bait and tackle you guys know the deal it's a new release the baby bowl gill ladies and gentlemen so i got a feeling he's gonna get more hits than me but we're gonna just have to wait and find out you guys are gonna have to wait and see because let me tell you what there's some big fish in here and i know that they will absolutely munch this i might even draw some bacons in from a further distance than that baby bullgill we'll see what happens and don't worry i brought the backup plan let's say i suck at fishing i got a little texas rig right here with the Gito bandito bug man so if i have to pull that out you know it's tough fishing i'm gonna try my best not to get out the texas rig but there's some spots in here where i know the t-rig really excels so we'll see what happens man but i'm gonna be diligent with this big swim bait for quite some time let's get our first couple casts in CPM is like, uh, Flair told me it's basically the highest it's been in like since the last election. He really? said that it spikes the advertisers rates up and so we've been earning more per thousand views. Yeah. And so like my CPM is like 10 bucks right now. So off of a uh, 10K views, I got a um, hundred bucks on that, like my new favorite Guggen Bait video. And so like, is bringing in 50K views on quite a few of his videos. So I know he's making 500 bucks every video easily. And that's like, Minimum. that's in the first week. Yeah, it's in, yeah, right, exactly. You want your bag? I imagine we're just gonna be walking and... I should angle this down just a hair since we're on the ledge. You go ahead, I'll go outside of you. You hit it close and I'll draw them in. You secure the deal. <laughs> so <laughs> we got the tactics, man. Ryan's going against the wall with the uh, the gill and I'm a little bit further out trying to draw them in from the deep with the battle shad. You guys saw we recently did a video on that baby bull gill. It's got some decent weight, so he's probably fishing at mid column, which I think is a good idea because I'm working the bottom a little bit, working it a little slower with the soft plastic, and I'm hitting stuff. As you can see, I almost thought I had a bite right there, but he would definitely be getting snagged if he lets that thing sink a little too low. So we got an interesting tactic here. We're fishing a little higher up and then down on the bottom. See where these bass are hanging out, try and put a pattern together here in these first few minutes. Oh, he's sharking it. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> and that was the day I broke off on it. Yeah, I might honestly be in trouble. I'm, I think I should burn this back in. <laughs> like he knows what he's doing. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he tried to go after the battle shed. That was almost my first bite of the day, guys. <laughs> this is where the grass starts to pick up. I started banging the wall. I was like, no. There's definitely potential right here. Man, I don't know. They should be in this. Like it's perfect grass. Some days they're hanging out in it though, and some days they're not. Like I've had days where we have caught like six fish already just throwing in those in the grass. So we're about 45 minutes in, no bites just yet. We're trying to figure out if they are along this wall and in the grass or just kind of out deep. If we need to be working it slow, uh, I figured with this current that's kind of opened up, maybe working this thing a little bit faster could actually do some good. I got such strong faith that a big one's gonna want this bait. Tell him the bite's hot. He's gotta hustle, cause the bite's hot. Y'all, so Justice is meeting up with us as well. He's about to be on film with us, but we had to hype him up and let him know the bite is hot, cause somebody's gotta come in here with some confidence and catch fish. I promise there's bass in here. To be fair, most people throwing the bait that I'm throwing would go out in hopes for like one bite and possibly get one and possibly not. I just have strong faith in these things, especially in the fall, and I've had multiple fish days on this thing, no doubt. Now, young Ryan rigged on the bluegill bait. He should have had five, six by now. <laughs> Don't want to snag the $65 bait with the hook. All right, y'all, sunset is fast approaching. I totally forgot the time change is coming up and literally we have like eight minutes until the sunset. So we have moved loca location. We have moved locations. So we have moved locations and sometimes a plan just does not pan out. Justice is with us now. Ryan Rigged is over here. Airplane's up here. Audio is probably fantastic. And all I want to say is that the swim bait showdown, kind of a massive failure, man. I might have to break out the lunker logs and just see if we can catch a fish for you guys. So it has now turned into a can we catch a fish before dark challenge. How about that? Let's break out those lunker logs. Get these bass. Justice starting off with a chatterbait. Ryan, are you still throwing the bluegill? 
Good call. So he's still partaking in the challenge. Sun sets in like two minutes. No pressure. There goes one. Oh no! He was swimming with it from left to right. Lunker Lars getting bites here. I let that one go by the wayside. Hey! <laughs> Came off the. Came off. It was a little one though. It's all good. That's two hits so far. Hey, there he goes. Ryan rigged his on. Across the pond, man. Ryan picked him up the first one on the baby bullgill. Looks like that bird is coming to get you. Oh, there goes Justice. Doubled up. Across the pond. He saw that drain. He knew what he was doing. So we've all had bites at this pond in the first five minutes. After an hour and a half to two hours of fishing the larger body of water with nothing. Doop, slam dunk. All right, let's get us one. Got him. There we go. Didn't know if I had him or not. <laughs> Little guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. See you, bud. One for me on the lunker log now. Creeping back up. That puts me on the board, but not with the size we want. <laughs> Both the guys, other fish look like they're at least a pound and a half, probably two plus. And that was a solid quarter pounder. Justice with another five pounder hook set. That'll get it. That puts the guys at two and two, and then I'm at one. So I am like, I'm in the back of the pack at the moment but the bite seems to be firing up. Dang, and Justice is on his third already. I tell you what, the Lunker Log might not be the way to go tonight. Maybe out there in the fountain. Ryan's on again. There we go, a little light. One little last bit of light for you guys. Ryan Rigg just got his third fish and we are on the struggle bus tonight. One of those outings where I had very high expectations of getting some fish on the swim bait, man. I did not think it was gonna be a challenging evening with how good this weather is compared to how it's been. I left everything in the car. Obviously a smart decision would be to go with something either moving or just different profile than this lunker log. The guys seem to be getting a lot more hits, but no doubts this worm might get me one more good one before we have to head out of here. All right, have a good night, y'all. And that does it for this one, y'all. I kind of gave up on the challenge. The fact is I threw the large swim bait for at least the first couple hours. Me and Ryan rigged were Definitely going head to head at the first spot, but then when we went to that smaller pond, I figured I better put the big swim bait away. Could have, it could have got a fish for sure, but I went down to the lunker log assuming I'd be just hammering them, and the guys still whooped me, so <laughs> one of those days. But hey, be looking out for new content coming soon. Out of state, man. We're going to Florida. Here's some saltwater lures we're going to be testing out for some big fish that you guys have never seen on the channel. Pretty pumped for that. Also, we've got some new Mondo kits at the house. You guys can grab these at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Same with the new Salt Native salt water products. But I'm curious if you guys have any ideas for me. Some twists we can do, something fun that we can do with this Mondo kit right here. What do we got? A mini banger, a saucy swimmer, grass hero, filthy frog, zinger, and a sun mask. So maybe some ideas that we can tackle out in Florida if at all possible. It is gonna be a ton of fun. I hope to see you guys on those videos. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, please drop this video a like. It really helps us out and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Hey! <laughs>